G'day guys, Andy here, bringing a new feature to you today. A customer called me and said that when she's dealing with clients who are just their horses at her place, she has SMS, Facebook messaging and emails to handle all the comms and what she would like is all the communications to all be brought in one place. So that gives her a number of things. One is that it covers you for everything you've sent and you can find out easily what you have sent. So I've called the feature Messages. It's a little bit like email, uh, very similar. Let's check it out. So you'll see this new menu item called Messages. You can click on that. And here we go, there's no messages yet. So let's create one. So we can create one. Now the To field can only be the people in your People tab. So if we go to the People tab, you'll see I've got Jason, Bob and Adam here. And Tom Jones, I can't email him because he's unsubscribed. So that honours the unsubscription that some people do. So let's send an email. So let's go to Adam and let's talk about a horse called Max. And we'll give it a title of Max's Progress. So let's pretend I'm breaking in Max. Um, and just like an email, go, hi Adam. Uh, Max is going well. Uh, did round yard work today. Okay, and we can send that. So we'll hit that send button and uh, the little hamsters inside the internet put the email together and send it. So now we're at our sent messages here and you can see that we've sent Max. If we go to our email tool, so this is a test email tool I use, you can see that this is the email that Adam would have got. Hi Adam, Max is going well and they have to click on there to see the full message. So to view that message, I would just click on it. I can see what it said. I could click on Max, go directly to Max. Down here is a new tab, Messages. So all your messages, if they're about a horse, are put together in the Messages tab for your horse there. Right, but it gets even better because what I've done is I've created um, image upload. So let's just... Uh, Look, you don't have to talk about a horse, but let's continue to talk about Max um, uh, Glamour Photo. So uh, we got this great photo of Max today. So we can now go to Browse. We can pick our photo. So let's pick that one. Okay, and you can see that this horse, it isn't actually Max, but you get where I'm coming from. Now we can click on this and edit it. And this is a tool that I'm really excited about. So I can crop like this. Um, I can redact information like this. Okay. I can hit back to undo it. Most importantly, I think is uh, for many of you is I can annotate. So you can draw a line like that, you know, all over it. You can put arrows, you can rectangle it. Oops, I did click rectangle then. You can go to rectangle. Um, and it works just like an editor. Now we've tested it on the mobile. It works pretty well on mobile. It's just a touch touchy, but that's to do with the mobile screen sensitivity, not the actual functionality of the um, editor. So you can also rotate it, you can crop it, um, and when you're done, you just hit done in the top right hand corner, and it saves that updated image there, so that when you send it, the updated image is there. So that's pretty cool. So we'll just wait for that to send. Now we can click on that one and you can see here's the cropped image there and there you go. There's the image. Now you can upload images, PDFs, spreadsheets, etc. So the idea is that you would um, have uh, reports perhaps of the horse or some images or photos and you can send them to your clients. They're all recorded there in one safe place. Now there's other functionality which you would expect of a simple emailing system. If you get an email, you can archive it. If it's read, if it's unread, there's a little uh, one or two that appears there. Same with messages. If you've got messages, there's a number there that tells you you've got outstanding messages and you can work on it from there. You can reply to messages. Um, uh, but yeah, so you can reply to messages and they appear under the messages as you would expect. So one last thing. There's a bit of gnarly 
a logic in this one. So if you do find a bug, please let me know and I'll fix it quick, smart and in a jiffy. So give it a go. Let me know how you go. And until next time, it's Andy signing out. See you guys.